hello and welcome to all of you in my channel blue chip finance in this video uh, we are going to discuss some more question related to economic order quantity and that is in fact part 3 of inventory management so let's start the uh, questions so in example number 5 which is uh, also taken from your book operation and production management uh, from J. Hazer uh, that M. Cotlier Electronics supplies micro computer circuitry to a company that incorporates microprocessors into refrigerators and other home appliances. Uh, one of the components uh, has an annual demand of 250 units. So, your first uh, data extract that is your demand uh, D is 250 units. And this is constant throughout the year. Carrying cost is estimated to be one dollar per unit per year. Uh, so H, your carrying or holding cost is one dollar, and the ordering cost is twenty dollar per order. So your ordering cost S is twenty dollar. So to minimize cost, how many units should be ordered each time an order is placed? So first requirement is to calculate economic order quantity. Uh, so just simply put this data uh, into this equation uh, to calculate so 2d d is equals to 250 units and s uh, is 20 and divided by 1 h is 1 so finally it is 100 uh, units uh, so after this uh, b requirement is that how many orders per year are needed with the optimal policy so optimal number of orders per year we already calculated in the uh, I think uh, previous video or second last video that is equals to uppercase D divided by Q. Uh, D is your de demand uh, so that is 250 and Q is your economic order quantity uh, that is 100. So result is 2.5 orders uh, which means that in one year uh, to you may order three uh, three order you can place three order and in next year uh, you can place two order to offset this uh, point fraction uh, so third requirement is that what is the average inventory if costs are minimized uh, so average inventory is equals to q divided by 2 uh, q is economic order quantity that is 100 divided by 2 equals to 50 units uh, so after that uh, what is D D is suppose that ordering cost is not $20 and Cotlier has been ordering 150 units each time an order is placed for this order policy of Q equals to 150 to be optimal determine what the ordering cost would to be so uh, here uh, they just change your economic order quantity from 100 to 150 and uh, through applying Q equals to 150 now we are uh, going to calculate ordering cost because uh, it is uh, placed in the question that suppose that ordering cost is not 20 so if it is not 20 then what should it be so for that purpose uh, we just apply once again this formula and just skip the s to calculate uh, s so uh, here it is not related to this question so uh, for this purpose uh, once again we apply the economic order quantity uh, formula so economic order quantity as it is changed in the question uh, from 100 to 150 uh, so we just place 150 here 2d is 250 s is skipped here uh, we are going to calculate it and h is 1 so after putting these values into the question and uh, just take the scares on both sides and this 150 will be converted into 22500 and uh, this whole should be equals to 500 s and uh, s should be equals to 22500 divided by 500 equals to 45 so after this question the next question 
uh, is MP Wen or in manufacturing has gone out on bid for a regulator component. Expected demand is 700 units uh, per uh, month. Uh, so first thing of your data is 700 units per month. So 700 multiplied by 12 is your D. Uh, that is equals to 8400. Uh, after that, ordering cost is uh 50 uh, the item can be purchased from either ln manufacturing or baker manufacturing their price lists are shown in the table here and ordering cost is 50 and annual holding cost per unit is 5 so holding cost uh, h is 5 and ordering cost s is 50 and uh, this table is given here uh, for both manufacturers uh, that if you order to Allen to provide you uh, the items you are going to purchase if you place uh, from one unit to 499 the unit price is 16 if you place uh, order 500 units to 999 uh, your unit price is 15.50 and if you place order uh, for 1000 plus uh, units your unit price is 15 and similarly Baker if you want to buy from Baker manufacturing uh, then if you place your order from unit 1 to 399 your unit price is 16.10 if you order 400 to 799 your unit price is 15.60 and if you place order 800 plus units your unit price is 15.10 so first requirement is that what is the economic order quantity uh, here you are required to calculate uh, economic order quantity that is equals to 2 D S divided by H. So D is 8400 and your S is 50 and H is 5 uh, that is after summing this equation uh, your economic order quantity or units are 410. So next requirement that which supplier should be used and why. Uh, so for this purpose we just calculate uh, the total cost uh, first of all uh, at the unit level of economic order quantity and then maximum uh, units and then we can uh, you can say that we are in condition to um, just uh, tell our opinion that which supplier is best so first of all we are going to calculate total cost uh, while considering 410 economic order quantity uh, for Allen and Baker and then after that uh, we should calculate uh, total cost for 1000 uh, uh, from Allen and maximum Baker 800 from uh, Baker. So then after the calculation of total cost for both options from Allen and Baker then we will be in condition uh, to analyze that which one is best. So for total cost uh, as you know that it is equals to annual holding cost plus annual ordering cost plus units or you can say that uh, uppercase D what is your demand. Uh, multiply by unit price so annual holding cost is equals to q divided by 2 multiplied by h uh, and annual ordering cost is d divided by q multiplied by s where q is your economic order quantity h is holding cost s is ordering cost and d is your demand uh, so first of all uh, we just place uh, total cost at 410 units if material purchase from ln so 410 divided by 2 multiplied by 5 plus 8400 divided by 410 multiplied by 50 plus 8400 multiplied by 16. Uh, because if we purchase from Allen, uh, then the charge for 410 units, this slab should be implemented here, 16 uh, per unit price. And your total cost is 13644439. Uh, now we once again uh, we just going to apply this formula uh, 
uh, for economic order quantity 1000 and we just see that what will happen uh, and the manufacturer is same that is ln so q is 1000 divided by 2 multiplied by 5 uh, plus 8400 divided by 1000 multiplied by 50 uh, plus 8400 multiplied by 15 why we take here 15 because ln charge 15 uh, unit price if your quantity uh, or your required quantity is 1000 uh, plus so here uh, in this condition your total cost is 128920 and now the same thing uh, should be applied for the comparative analysis uh, to the baker so first of all we take 410 units and then we take 800 units because data for 800 units is given here uh, so for uh, 410 units price is 15.60 and for 800 units price is 15.10 so first of all uh, we just take q equals to 410 so 410 divided by 2 multiply by holding cost is 5 plus d is 8400 divided by 410 uh, multiply by uh, 50 plus 8400 multiply by 15.60 and your total cost is 133089.39 and uh, what should be your total cost at 800 units so just q equals to 800 divided by 2 multiply by 5 plus 8400 divided by 800 uh, multiply by 50 and plus 8400 multiply by 15.10 because uh, baker uh, charge 15.10 for 800 plus units and your total cost is 129365 so as you compare uh, all these uh, allen and baker and you can observe uh, that for for 10 units uh, total cost is 13644439.39 and for if you want to uh, buy these units from baker uh, your total cost is 13308939.39 but uh, for 1000 units uh, your total cost uh, is 128920 if you want to purchase from ln and for 800 units if you want to purchase uh, from baker 129365 so uh, ln is better uh, because your total cost is uh, less uh, when you decide to buy your units from ln so now we move to the example 7 that a large bakery buys flour in 25 pound bags the bakery uses an average of 4860 bags a year uh, preparing an order and receiving a shipment of flour involves a cost of 10 dollar per order and will carrying cost uh, is 75 per bag so your carrying or holding cost is 75 and your uh, shipment or ordering cost is 10 and your demand is 4860 so determine the economic order quantity so just simply put up all this data into the equation and you will get the answer economic order quantity 36 units and after that what is the average number of uh, bags on hand so average inventory is q divided by 2 q is your economic order quantity so 36 divided by 2 equals to 18 units so how many orders per year will there be uh, so optimal number of orders per year equals to d divided by q so d is 4860 that is de your demand and q is your economic order quantity so 4860 divided by 36 equals to 135 orders and now compute the total cost of ordering and carrying flow so total ordering and carrying cost as you know that annual holding cost plus annual ordering cost uh, that is equals to uh, annual holding cost is q divided by 2 multiplied by h and annual ordering cost is d divided by q uh, multiplied by s so total ordering and carrying cost just simply uh, 
uh, Q is your economic order quantity that is 36 divided by 2 multiply by your holding cost is 75 plus D is 4860 your demand Q is economic order quantity 36 multiply by S is your ordering cost that is 10 so your total ordering and carrying cost is 2700 and now in E it is required that if ordering cost were to increase by one dollar per order how much would that affect the minimum total annual cost so for this purpose uh, if your ordering cost and this 10 is increased by one dollar so uh, after increase of one dollar it should be 11 so first of all uh, ordering cost s 11 holding cost h 75 and 4860 first of all uh, we should calculate uh, economic order quantity so 2 ds divided by h 2 multiply by 4860 that is your demand multiply by 11 and h is 75 so that should be equals to 37.75 or you can say 38 units now we are uh, in position to calculate uh, total ordering and carrying cost and that is to annual holding cost is q divided by 2 multiplied by h and annual ordering cost is d divided by q multiplied by s so after putting the data into this equation uh, your total ordering and carrying cost is 2831.84 so at ordering cost 10 uh, your total cost was 2700 but uh, at uh, your ordering cost 11 uh, your total cost is 2831.84 so there is an increase of 131.84 uh, dollars so that was the example number seven or you can say question number seven in next uh, videos we will discuss more about economic order quantity uh, so stay safe stay blessed take care of yourself and other persons around you and thank you very much